Who's living on the right side of history? That's the question that so many are asking today. And it certainly is the question that's being asked in Matthew 27. Matthew 27 is this crazy chapter in the Bible that records the crucifixion of Jesus. But what makes it especially crazy is it's filled with people who all assume they're on the right side of history. And they assume they know who's on the wrong side of history. It's the criminal on the cross. And yet we know the one who looks defeated is the victor. The one who suffers is the savior. What a variety of people there are in this chapter, men and women, Jew and Gentile, rich and poor, powerful and weak, religious and irreligious, guilty and less guilty, friends of Jesus, enemies of Jesus, educated and uneducated, different nationalities, different languages, different classes. But the question that really matters is, who's on the side of Jesus? The next time you get the heebie-jeebies about being on the right side of history, remember Matthew 27. Remember Jesus on the cross. Things are not always as they appear to be. What really matters is who's having victory in Jesus.